So here we have this area here. That is a labyrinth type seal. And a labyrinth seal is comprised of a series of fins or, or knife edges. On initial running of the engine, uh, the fins lightly rub against the lining. So this is the lining here. And it cuts into the lining, giving minimum clearance between the fins and the lining. Pressurized air from you know, the bleed, bleed air system uh, bleeds inwards. Okay, so it comes into the pressurized air, comes in here. Let me just change the color. So pressurized air comes in and then it bleeds across the fins. And as it bleeds across, we get a pressure drop. So we might just look at that more closely. So here is the, here are the fins uh, replicated. Here's the, the bleed air. So when the air comes through and it passes these fins, we get a pressure drop. So we get high pressure here uh, and low pressure uh, here. So that means we have a low pressure area in here and a high pressure area here. And because of that, the oil that comes in from the uh, pressure pump, that's sprayed onto the bearing and it's sprayed at high pressure. And when the, the oil hits the hot bearing, we will get an oil mist. And that oil mist will say, well, look, there's a high pressure uh, out here and we're in a low pressure area. And, you know, gases want to go from high pressure to low pressure, not from low pressure to high pressure. So the, the mist of oil won't be able to go this direction. Okay? It won't be able to seep out past the seal. So the, the compartment is oil tight. Okay? Now it's not air tight because air has to pass over it, but it is oil tight. The oil then, when it hits the, the bearing, it will, uh, it will get warmer and will expand due to that, that uh, increase in temperature. And that will come to the bottom of the compartment here. So down here we have the oil, the warm oil, and the air that has, has leaked in past the, by the labyrinth seal. And that just creates an aerated oil. And the volume of this could be you know, three times the, the volume of the pressurized oil. So the scavenge system capacity needs to be multiple times bigger than the pressure system. So maybe three times. So if, if the oil pressure system is supplying oil at, let's say one cubic meter <coughs> per minute, then the scavenge system would have to take out three cubic meters of aerated oil because it's air and oil and the oil is warm and so therefore it has expanded. Uh, this is a, a, an image of a labyrinth seal and you can see the knife edges here along, along the seal. Now when the oil uh, comes in um, as I said, we, we, we have a, a high pressure area here and then we get a low pressure area in here in the, in the compartment. And let's say a low pressure area in this compartment. Now we need to make sure that there's equal amounts of oil supplied to each of the jets. So let's assume that, uh, you know, maybe this chamber here was at a slightly higher pressure than this, than this chamber over here. Well, if this was at a higher pressure, <clears throat> then less oil would want to go down here and more oil would want to go down through here. So we wouldn't be getting the same amount of oil in each com compartment. To offset that, the compartments are vented to each other. So we have a vent here and a vent over here. And that ensures that we have equal pressure in this chamber uh, to that chamber therefore we should be getting equal amounts of oil into, into both chambers. Alright, so that's, uh, that's the labyrinth seal. Uh, 
as applied to a, a bearing compartment or bearing chamber. It can also be used in other uh, applications. And one such application is the interstage seal. So here we have a turbine area. So let's, these are the turbine blades and these are the nozzle guide vanes. And we have these interstage seals. So we would have a bleed air coming through and passing across the knife edges like that. And that creates a high pressure area in here and a low pressure area just here. So therefore, the hot gases, when the hot gases come through, they'll, be, they'll come through and they'll see a um, high pressure area here and they'll say, no, I'll just keep, keep going through here because due to this adverse pressure gradient, you know, the they, air won't want to go from a low pressure area to a high pressure area. So the air will just go through here and none of it will want to leak down in towards where the bearings are. And remember, this air coming from the combustion can, this is very warm. So we want to keep that away from, from the bearings and, and whatever else is down along here. So that's an interstage seal. It is another example of a labyrinth type uh, seal.